Welcome back, everyone, to Week 5 of the North American LCS Spring Split. We're joined in the studio by Coast of Victoria, Zion Spartan, and Nintendo. Dude, so you guys come into that game, you're battling for the spots. How, what were your thoughts coming into the game? You take it away, Zion. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, guys, maybe I should play Jax. It seems like a pretty good champion. And it uh, <laughs> worked out pretty well. So I got to ask you about the Jacks because coming into the game, I was talking to your coach, Alex, and he was like, yeah, some of the things we've been working on have been like getting Zion more into the tank role, fight, team fighting as a tank, and then you just go Jacks <laughs> and you decide to carry. What specifically uh, tipped you off to decide, oh, this game, I need to play like carry, and Jax is the man for me? Um, Jax is actually just does pretty well against Trundle, so I decided to pick him up. Uh, Jax can be a tank and a carry at the same time, which is why he's such a good pick. Like, if I go something like Yasuo, like, I'm not really that tanky, but I'm a carry. If I go Jax, I'm tanky and I'm a carry, so why not? And uh, it wasn't only me. My lanes did really well, which allowed me to farm up. I was actually down in that lane against Benny, but um, I was able to pick up a solo kill. Nintendo put a lot of pressure up there so I could get ahead, and then once I got ahead, I was able to hold on to my lead and uh, really take the game home. So uh, why aren't more people playing Jax, then, if he's so strong? Um, when there's champions like Renekton and Shivana, people would rather just pick those champions because they're so strong and it's so hard to mess up on them. If you fall behind on Jax, it is harder to come back into the game. Uh, whereas if you fall behind on Renekton or Shivana, you're still going to be that tank. You're still going get to in, get into the uh, heat of things and not die. So uh, Jax is kind of a riskier pick, but the dividends, it pays off a lot more if you succeed. All right, so the other part of the interview I had with Alex before the game, he was talking about you guys were also working on early jungle timers, early jungle positioning. And Nintendo, you did have a very good impact on the game early. You know, what really went into all the building that you guys were doing and uh, the work you were trying to put in on that? Yeah, well, it's no secret. I've been struggling a little bit lately. I think I, I might still be the leader for most deaths. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so a lot of our focus has definitely been on the re reinvigorating our early game, which is kind of something we've always been, you know, good at, kind of known for. So... We're just trying to put the power back where we have it and hopefully pick up some victories, and today it, it worked. But, I mean, what do you <laughs> most of the credit to the Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you said, though, you still got on there. What did happen then that, that siphoned away all your early game power? Like, what's been going wrong for you guys? Um, it's been a mixture of things, a little bit of, like, I think we fall into a lot of struggles at the Dragon area. Mm -hmm. uh, even this game, we kind of had some hiccups. Not major. We still ended up, like, having decent control, but not, like, perfect like I'd want it to be. Uh, that with a mixture of just like poor communication, me going in, other people aren't, uh, me not going in, other people are. It's mm -hmm. something we've been working on and hopefully something we'll keep fixing. Cool. So then we actually, uh, speaking of dragon, we have a baron, which is kind of the bigger dragon, uh, a baron fight uh, mm -hmm. that we want to actually go over with you guys. We have a replay of, I guess, kind of the big game winning battle. You guys dance around baron for a really long time. You finally get into the fight. Uh, and when we get that on your screen, I want to hear what you guys had to say about this battle here. Okay, so this is, remember, you guys, this is like the second attempt, and you already are all really low here. Oh, so let's, let's roll the clip here <laughs> through. Let's have Zion here uh, take us through what he's thinking, because he's tanking Baron. So Nintendo was like, hey, guys, let's finish Baron. They're like, oh, wait, they're running into us. Let's kill Benny. He's, he's tanking the Baron. So we start going on Benny. Then I'm like, wait a second. Man Cloud's running to our team. Jump on him. Uh, Smithy gets a kill on uh, Nintendo doesn't matter because I'm jumping into the the <laughs> jumping into their whole team, just like killing them. I'm like ten and one Jax got Shifter healing me. Just jump on Benny. I'm <laughs> I'm just so fed that it doesn't matter. I don't even need to think when I'm playing these team fights. I just <laughs> run in and kill things. What and, about uh, right here when uh, Zuna jumps on you? I was Still like, thinking the same thing? No, I was like, Shifter, toss me heal. I'm about to die. Help me out over here. And he's like, Wait, I'm killing the support. I'm like, Wait, the support. I'm I'm fighting the jungler here. And then he just walks over, kill him too, and uh, yeah. Well, very nice yeah. showing. It looked like you guys <laughs> oh, okay. were having a lot of fun in that one, too, I have to say. Yeah, once you get uh, rolling on a split pusher like Jax, uh, the game becomes really uh, straightforward because you're just stronger than their split pusher. So you can 2v1, 3v1. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're alone in a lane, you can just put so much pressure. So if you were XDG, what would you do in their shoes to get yourselves back into the game? Um, I think it's something they did fairly well. They sent multiple people at Jax. I think they did it too late, to their credit. Mm. I think right around, uh, I think Pantheon, I don't know where he used his first all. I know he used like, one from bottom or something. There's a lot of bottom pressure, whereas uh, top lane, the pressure is definitely going to go in Jax's favor as the game progressed. And Trundle yeah. kind of already hit that period where he wasn't stronger anymore. Mm. I think he should have ulted top like very early because if he does do that and successfully gets a gank off on Jax, Trundle can snowball that power upwards to like like 25 minutes or so, long enough into the game where they can overpower the other lanes and Jax won't matter anymore. 
All right, so now i got to ask more about Shifter. You know, we saw him healing you there, providing attack speed and heals to you. But really, uh, the solo laners here for Costa have always been the strong point. Shifter now on uh, Nidalee is not like uh, an assassin or anything, but you get to go back to your comfort champions. Are we going to see Shifter going back to that Katarina pick after you guys have picked up a win, or are you done with that Katarina for good now? Uh, I don't necessarily think we're done with Katarina. Shifter has a really versatile role. He can play a lot of different things. And actually, I think that game, he played the best out of all of us. He made the least mm -hmm. mistakes. I actually died like three times getting caught out, being in bad positions. But he didn't die once. He was always uh, he was stealing blues, putting up pressure. He didn't have that many kills. But I think he definitely had a lot of impact in that game that people didn't realize. So I actually want to keep pressing you then on this point, because Kobe brought up the Katarina. I think you guys ran it up to about four times in a row. Uh, so, so two questions this one. One, what's the thought process behind the team? And two, you guys kind of kept trying it over and over again. Why was that? I think we... I can't remember who we played that Katarina against first, but I kind of think it left a bad taste in our mouth. Like, we, sh we should have really won that game, so let's do it again. I think okay. that kind of happened again. And by the third time, I think we've ran it three times, we're like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It, it has some flaws. It's not just going to... Because like, when we played in scrim, sometimes sometimes the games are a little lax and catering mm -hmm. and just run around and kill everything. So maybe not the best judgment on our part. Okay. Tastes really bad now. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> spit it out, got some mouthwash. Jack's apparently the new, new thing. thing to follow on. It's good. So, that, so coming in, you guys got the win. You broke uh, like a five or so game loss streak. Where are you guys going from here? Um, well, we were 8th place, so I can say one thing. <laughs> the only place we can go is up. So uh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully uh, we're going to slowly You're gun down the now. teams. Uh, first was XDG, now we're going for EG. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can slowly make our way back up and uh, land in a decent spot for the end of the split. Do you yep. have any specifically planned for EG already? Or are you guys were really concentrated on today? Oh, we've got something special planned Ooh. for them. Ooh. They don't I always like that answer. Yes. <laughs> it's a different Jack skin. Is that <laughs> is that the special plan? You ruined everything, freak. Now I'm they sorry. know my secret. <laughs> <laughs> Pax Jets coming out, going to win the game. All right, guys, thank you very much. Congrats on the win. Hope to see you guys keep on moving up. But we've got more games to go for. Let's send it back to Riven. Uh,